Hello dear viewers, welcome to exercise 4 of the WAND processing program. We are requesting to open a WAND processing program and we type the following document as it appears. Then we save the document as uniform dist in the next exam folder. So we are going to work on this together. So I click on the Microsoft Office Word. I open it. Then after opening it, I will first click on file, then I click on savers, I click on desktop, then I search for my folder which is Dantec, double click it. Then on the savers type we say that you change it and you use rich text format. Then you can click on the file name and we are requesting to save it as uniform dist. So I write uniform dist and I click save. So after saving, I will first change the font size. I can use size 12. Then I click here. I can change the font style and use Times New Roman. Then I click on the save button. I can close that. So you can see that I have already saved it as a uniform dist. So I just open it. So I can place the cursor at the sender, then I can type that. I click enter, I can place the cursor at the left side, then I can be able to So I type that. So I apply the colon, I click enter, so after that I'll go to the bullets, I click on the bullets and I can select this one, then we now type there. So after that I'll you can just click that very uniform I click that I just choose that then I can ignore the error so after that I'll first highlight the title I go to insert then I click on one dot then I can be able to choose this one this style here and I press OK after that I click on the ship fill and I change the color to black so that is how we format the ending then after that I can go to insert I click on the shapes and I can choose this specific shape here I just apply it there I right click then I click hand text I click at the home tab and I click at the sender then I can be able to type inside that So 
so there is a quite a large spacing so i can just go to the line spacing i can choose one i can go to the line spacing again i click on the line spacing options and i reduce this to zero then i press ok then i can just uh, ignore that so i can just put that percent so after that i'll now be able to create the table whereby i click on insert i go to the table then i click insert table on the insert table i can be able to count the number of columns and the number of rows so so i'll count the number of columns remember we have four columns i just write four then the number of rows they are six so i write six then i press ok after that i write the three first lines i click on layout then i click on merge cells again i write the three lines Com four lines coming down i apply merge cells after that I come to the text direction and I click that and I can put it at the center and I click enter on my keyboard. After that I can go to hold the home tab. I increase the size to around size 20. And I can highlight the first two lines. I bold them. Then I can be able to type inside my table. So I'll be able to type that. So since the size is the same, I'll simply copy and just copy the size. I click copy, then I light the other rows and I click on paste to have that instead of typing again. Then I can simply write here. So I'm done typing my table. So after that, I can now be able to type the other text. So that at first I just type the S and T, then I click space and the ST will automatically be aligned at the top of the that first. Then after that, I'll be able to bold this. Then I can simply type this. So I can simply type this. Mm. 
There's a scam one. Then I can type come to. So I can type cam to. Then I type cam hall. So I'm done with formatting my work. So after that, so this is my work. We have done it together. So I can just click on the save button. Then I can go to the questions. So this is what we have. So the question says that apply and drop cap in margin format to the first letter of the first paragraph. Therefore, I just select the first letter F. I click on insert. Then I go to drop cap and I click in margin. You can just ignore that. After that, we do the next question which says that you apply a width of three points to all the borders of the table. So we come to our table here, you can see the plus, you right click, then you click on borders and shading. Under the width, you choose three points, then you press OK, and you can see that our table has increased the size of the borders to three points. Then after that, we apply footer with the text uniform distributors to appear at the center of the bench. We apply footer with the text uniform distributors. Therefore, we can just click on insert, then we click on footer, we can choose the first one, then we click on the tab on the keyboard, then we type the word uniform distributors. After that, we just click close hand and footer, and that is it. So that is the end of our fourth exercise on the Microsoft Access, on the Microsoft Word. Uh, thank you for watching this video.